morning. I'm Samuel Green, president of the Southwest Region Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Ellen White says in this little book that I'm holding in my hand, Councils on Education, that the nicest work that a man and a woman can do is that of Christian education. I'm standing in a classroom, a Southwestern Adventist Junior Academy, where some of that nice work is taking place. We're talking to you this morning about the purpose and the reason for Seventh-day Adventist education. Let me explain something to you. <clears throat> education is more than just getting knowledge. It's more than just getting degrees. Education has an element to it called moral. It's also called mental development. It's also called spiritual development for another world which we believe to be heaven. And in order to do that, Christian education is paramount. Christian education is necessary. And Christian education is what we have to do and provide for our children. Religious education is extremely important. And you're not going to get the religious education in the public schools where secular things are being taught, religion is prohibited, and where we see the school systems failing our children on a day-to-day -day basis. Many of them are loaded with all of the equipment. They have all the modern technology, but it's more than technology that is going to help our children prepare their lives for the kingdom of God. It is more than technology that's going to give them a foundation of where they want to live and work for the Lord Jesus Christ. Christian education is extremely important. It's so important that I was not a product of Christian education. I only became a product of Christian education when I went to college. But immediately, I saw the value. And let's focus on the value. The value is so important, and it's so important that I not only educated my sons, my nephew, but my wife and I have worked to help provide education for as many children as we possibly can through tuition assistance, living in our home, supporting the schools, supporting t tuition funds. These things are extremely important to us. Why? Because of the value of Christian education. These young minds have to be shaped. These young minds have to be molded. These young minds have to receive the transfer of values that are important for them for the kingdom of God. And I plead with you to understand, and I challenge each of you to read this little book called Councils on Education, written by Ellen White. As a matter of fact, seven out of the nine testimonies that she wrote has a chapter on education. It's extremely important. And it's extremely important that you work to provide our children with a Christian education. I'm here this morning to talk to you about the state of Adventist education in the Southwest Region Conference. And I wish I could paint to you a better picture, but it's not that great a picture. As a matter of fact, right here at Southwestern Adventist Junior Academy, when it was called City Temple Junior Academy, I remember when this school had over 400 students. Now the school is down to about 42 students. The truth of the matter is, our schools are very, very important for the
the future education of our children. You see, one of the things that's happened, our people have not invested into the value of Christian education. And they have not invested into the value of Christian education in our territory. It's important for children to receive academic excellence, but it's also important for them to receive moral excellence as well. And what we have is, is we have buildings that are not adequate for our children. We have books that are adequate for our children. We got teachers that are adequate for our children, but we are not supporting Christian education by sending our children here. And even if you don't have children, it is something that you can still do and you should do. My wife and I still support children through scholarships and through tuition payments and all these things to help children be in our schools. We've always done that and we will continue to do that, although our children have been out of schools for years. It's extremely important that you understand that the church, the local conference, and parents support Christian education if we're going to rise to the level of helping our children prepare for God's kingdom. It's extremely important. It's extremely important for you to buy into this. And if you will buy into it, I promise you, and I know for a fact, God will bless you. And I also know that technology may be offered in the public schools, but the public schools are failing their kids. And my brothers and my sisters, we have an obligation and we have a mandate from God to educate our children of the Lord. I am pleading with you, buy in. I am pleading with you, contribute. I am pleading with you to make sure that we do everything that we possibly can to support Christian education in this conference. Thank you. I want to read a statement to you from this book, Councils on Christian Education, on Education, from
from time to time when I preach, I will bring one of the Spirit of Prophecy books with me and read from it rather than just quoting the statements in a sermon because I want our people to see that these books do exist and we need to start reading them and studying them. And I want to read a statement to you here about proper education. Proper education, Ellen White writes, it takes in everything that is good, virtuous, righteous, and holy. It comprehends the practice of temperance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love of God and love to one another. In order to obtain this object, the physical, the mental, the moral, religious education of children must have this attention. You see, there was a call for Christian education in the 1800s. There was a call for Christian education in the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the 1900s. Now we're in the 2000s. And that call is still as relevant today as it was when it was first echoed throughout this church. You and I, as administrators and parents and pastors and teachers, we need to rally to get our children in our church schools. Public schools are failing. The moral climate in the, church, in the public schools is failing. And we do not need our children to be a part of that. And in order for our children to be properly prepared for the kingdom of heaven, you and I are going to have to do everything we can to turn around the trend that's happening with Christian education in our churches. It's important. And it doesn't matter whether it's a school of four or five. It doesn't matter whether it's a school of 400. The, the truth of the matter is, we need to start and develop Christian schools. We're putting out teachers every year. We're adding new, new buildings, and we can add new churches, and we're concerned about building new church buildings. But with every church building, we should take into consideration an education portion of that church as well. So let's give it attention, because whatever you give attention to, it gets done. But what you do not give attention to, it does not give done, get done. There's nothing more precious on the face of this earth than the children that the Lord has entrusted us with. I am pledging my support. I need pastors to pledge their support. I need parents to pledge their support. I need grandparents. I need everyone with the capability of supporting Christian education to pledge their support. I am calling you to be help our children become the best that they can be for the Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming soon, and we need to prepare our children through our church schools properly. Thank you very much.